If you want to make an electrocuting effect like this in Unreal Engine, first you need to create beams that connect two points on the mesh surface. To do that, add the sample skeletal mesh module to your emitter. Select your skeletal mesh and set it to spawn points on the surface every frame. This module writes a few parameters we can use to generate our beams. Since we need two points, one for the start and one for the end, just duplicate the module. Now add the beam emitter setup and the spawn beam modules to the emitter. In the emitter setup, enable absolute beam start and link it to the position parameter from the first sample skeletal mesh. Then enable absolute beam end and link it to the position parameter from the second sample skeletal mesh. Next, add a spawn burst instantaneous module and set the particle count to something like 50. Now add a ribbon renderer so we can actually see the beam. To make the beams rapidly spawn and disappear, reduce the emitter loop time and the particle's lifetime. Adjust the beam width using the beam width module. Give it some color and crank up the value to make it glow nicely. Then in the beam emitter setup, enable use beam tangent and link the normal parameters from both sample skeletal mesh modules to the start and end tangents. That gives your lightning some cool curvature. And that's how you make this lightning effect in UEFI using Niagara. If you are interested in a full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this entire effect, check out the full video down below.